like at some point we gotta really stand up and be like, you know what? We, we ain't gonna take this no more. So like Al Sharpton, it's been a long time since y'all been on this curve. It's been a long time since y'all been out here. Let the people talk, let the kids talk. I wanna hear the kids from social media on CNN. Cops who not bad, stand up and say this shit is wrong. They gotta stop beating our people, stop framing our people. Mistreating them, even talking to people with disrespect. That is shocking the nation. It's like a touchy subject to me because I'm from the time that I've been talking about Michael Brown. Of course, I've been always saying fuck the police forever. And the thing was, nobody never understood why why we had so much anger towards the police. But now, because of the power of social media, because of the power of everybody having their phones and taping all this bullshit they doing. Listen, man, the police been beating, killing, framing destroying our people and our families since the beginning of time. It's never been a time when police wasn't harming the poor, wasn't harming the color, wasn't harming our people. Like it's never, it was, it's never been no run where it was like, oh yeah, back in the 1920s it was cool. No, it was never cool. Now they get in court for doing it. You think about how many people in prison for shit they didn't do. That they couldn't afford a lawyer. You think about how many people won't get the, you know, how many people lost their child and they won't get their child won't get the same media coverage of a, let's say, a Freddie Gray. You think the Baltimore police, you think that's the first time they did that? After, you know, they've been giving out millions of dollars for police brutality. American taxpayers are spending in Philly, like, it, it's common knowledge in Philly. Like, if you get into a situation with the police, like, it's certain things, like, if, if you run from the police in Philadelphia, which is not that far-fetched, because even if you're innocent, you're scared of the police around here. So if you run from the police, everybody knows it's common knowledge. If you run from the police, when they catch you, they're going to beat the shit out you. Even if you don't run sometimes, they're going to beat the shit out you. Cops are human beings. A lot of these cops were suckers and nerds and geeks and sexually, sexually molested when they was kids. And, and, and now it's like this day payback. They're in a position of authority. It's like if you take anybody who never was a boss, who never had people that they could boss around and never, you know, talk to how they want to talk to, or you got a punk and you give a punk a, a gun, the city a stick, and a badge, and the authority to, to, to run roughshod over Another people, shot then they're not going to take the advantage of it. He was and the, the people always saying, you know, and, all, all and cops not bad. Well, how come the cops that y'all saying is good never speak about the cops that are bad? I love what the youth is doing right now and the young people using their voice, man. They getting on social media saying, nah, fuck that. We ain't taking it no more. Like, I took my son, you know, and my artist, we went down in Philly when they had the march, you know what I'm saying? They, they organized a big march and, and we marched from, uh, you know, like JFK to City Hall. And, and I felt good that, that day to be a part of it. Like, cause I'm like, I just don't want to be a nigga who tweeting and Instagram and talking shit. I want to be a part of it. But now when I look back, I can't honestly say, you know, what that marching shit is doing, man. I, I can't even front on camera like, oh yeah, let's keep marching and, and, and singing these old Negro spirituals and keep forgiving. Since we was babies, what your mom always told you? If somebody hit you what? You hit their ass back. We got to start hitting back. And I'm not sitting here telling people to go out and shoot an innocent cop. But I'm saying that if you a so-called tough guy or a street nigga, if I walk up to you on your block and I punch you in your feet, you won't shoot me, punch me, whatever. But the same cop come up and, and yes sir, no sir, they still gonna fuck you up. Be tough with them. Especially if you in the right. Know your rights, man. Because what's going on is out of control. And, and I see now with the um with the thing with the sister, the female we just saw, Sand Sandra Bland is her name, Sandra Bland. I mean, I apologize if I'm saying her name wrong, but like the situation with her, that's hurting people. It's sad, but people have trouble seeing a black man as a victim. So when they see Freddie Gray and they see Eric Garner, and even you know a kid like Trayvon, when they see that, or, um, the, the, the young boy from Philly, the young brother from Philly, who was named Brandon Tate, I think his name was. Like when they see that, they don't look at black men as a victim because we we naturally strong, we kings. They look at us like aggressors, so they always say, well, what, did, what did he do? What the fuck you mean, what did he do? If somebody is unarmed, you just shouldn't be no justification in killing them. Now, with a female, because people look at it like, oh, that could have been my mother. That could have been my wife. That could have been my daughter, my sister. That's affecting people. That's hitting people now where it's like, oh, now this shit ain't right, man. This shit been not right. Like, if they never would have had this shit on camera with Rodney King, how they was beating it, spitting on him and treating him like fair with the boys. The media is very unfair in how they portray our people. You know how it feel to be 17 years old. I don't even know. And I'm, I'm still out here. And how they portray our voices. You know what I'm saying? Al Sharpton, like 80, man. He don't, man. Fuck the police, man. Stop killing our people.